and welcome to another Beaumont vlog. Happy Mother's Day to you all. I hope you're either being A, pampered or B, pampering or C, remembering. Um, anyway, Mother's Day is a day for spending time on you and giving yourself a bit of love. So today we have a Stitch Fix unboxing coming up. But first of all, let's have a look at um, the Gusto box. I also had an arena flowers delivery and it is time to talk about the stitch fix delivery. Let's get going on that. Right. This video is going to have to come to you in two parts because I am just uber excited. I've just come home from my run, it's Friday afternoon, and my stitch fix is waiting for me. So, here it is. I'm not going to try things on right now because I'd like to have a nice shower, but I couldn't wait. So, I'm going to open these things now and we'll try them on in the next video. So, let's see what's inside the stitch fix. Here. I also have this bag here. This tricks bag. Um, I have a leaflet which I'm not going to look at just yet, and obviously the information in there. I'm not going to look at prices or anything just now. I'm going to look at the products first. And let's see what we think. So inside this bag I have and this stitch fix obviously falls in falls in line with Mother's Day so this is my Mother's Day gift to myself um, oh I quite like these so these are super girl and they are white shoes this is actually really good because I am um, I currently have brogues which I don't wear because I don't go to the office anymore and I have trainers, which I wear running, and I have nothing in between. These are nice. I think they're gold jeans. Yeah, so maybe even a dress. Um, but shoe, try side my stitch fix. There we go. On the top here, oh, this feels really nice already. Colour's quite pale which is not normally good for me. Um, but this is a woolen jumper um, with three quarter sleeves, which I do quite like. See, it's a lovely knit top. It is extremely soft and I quite like the, uh, the high neck as well. So um, that definitely has potential and it feels, the quality feels absolutely amazing. So. That looks good. Uh, now this one, again, this feels nice and it's very casual with lots of nice rigged trainers. It is literally a sweater top and those stars are actually embroidered in. Um, yeah, it's got a um, cut sleeve. Looks like it'll fit quite nicely and again go really well with a nice pair of jeans and it's um it's quite cash which is good something for me not just to wear in the office but you know to wear in life other than like uh, and sporting t-shirts which is kind of all i've been living in for the last year uh next in the bag we have some jeans um so more vet jeans reasonably and they, they feel nice again not too heavy 
nice little pockets on them there um, and I suppose the thing with jeans is you really can't tell until you try them on but it's they're not too slim fitting they look it's about right so I'm looking forward to trying them on as well and our last one is also another pair of jeans um, but I have to say I don't own any jeans so I could do with them these are um, little turnips at the bottom and uh, yeah they look nice and short which is good because most of the things I buy don't quite fit me and I like um, as in they're too long because I'm short and these um, these look quite nice too they, they are quite light and I mean that in a good way um, yeah so again I think it's going to be a case of try them on but that is what's inside my stitch box hello and welcome to the stitch fix this is the card that came inside all about my um, delivery and then each item so they are the mobile jeans how they think they should go my star sweater jumper pink rose boat neck the classic trainer and the slim jeans so let's try these on outfit number one jumper the stars feels quite nice and then we have the jeans there, full length mirror, jeans and jumper. How do I feel about them? Nice fit in, they feel nice, and yeah, as far as jeans go, I'm I'm moderately happy with them. I'll go and see what the family thinks, and then I'll try on outfit number two. So I'm currently, I put my hair in a ponytail, minor improvement. Um, I'm currently wearing the boat top, which I will zoom out of in a sec. Um, I'm also wearing the jeans and I put on the shoes. Uh, right, let's go to the other screen. So here is the whole look. Um, pink boat top is, I, I do quite like it. It feels quite nice and soft. Now these jeans, I actually do like the look of these jeans on. And yeah, and the shoes. I haven't done the laces up properly or anything yet. I just want to sort of see what they look like. So I'm umming and ahhing over the set. I actually prefer how these jeans look on me. I'm going to get the family to review and I'll be back. So the verdict of the family is that this top is not me. It's not the right colour for me. Um, I kind of do agree that I feel a bit washed out in it. So I agree with that. Um, the jeans, Steve really didn't like the jeans with turnips. So I've now taken the turnips down and the jeans do look a bit better on me um, and I do quite like the jeans and I've done a close here's the shoes just done them up quite quickly to try them on they are super comfortable the issue I have with them is that they are white and how long will they stay white who knows uh, let's look at some prices so prices have a little look inside iron blue First thing on the list is the Cotto Classic Trainer, Background area £55. Park Radio. Um, yeah, that's why I would pay for a really good pair of running shoes. And I will say they do feel really nice, they do feel really um, good quality, the Italian. Um, I'm just a bit concerned about the white and how stinky poos I am. I mean, I get pretty much everything dirty. Uh, the next thing is the Vivian High Rose Skinny Strip. Oh, right, okay. So the first pair of jeans I had on, um, they are £45. I think I'm quite happy with that. They're stretchy material. They fit, they went on really nicely and they felt nice on. Uh, this boat, boat neck jumper, which I have on, is £28. I actually think that's a really good deal for this. The quality feels really good. just don't like it, so... Um, that might go back. Um, the Stella Embroidered Star Sweater, so the jumper with the little stars on. I did quite like that too. That's £42, which is quite a lot for um, a casual kind of... I would have thought this was £42 and the jumper was £28. Um, but yeah, that's not how it's worked. And the Houston, the mid-rise jeans with the turnips. The ones that I wasn't too sure about were £69. Um, 
So that's a total of £239. If I buy them all, I get the discount of £47.80. Uh, so basically I get jeans free. Um, plus I get um, my styling charge deducted. So if I buy everything today, it's a total of £181. But I decided to keep all of the Stitch Fix items. Um, partly because I phoned a friend and <laughs> requested uh, their opinions. And that's based on the, like, the one thing that I really thought I should send back was the cheapest. And it would have cost me more to, to not keep it. And yeah, we thrashed it out. Discovered that actually all I need is a nice denim jacket to go with it. And it'll look real. So I'm keeping this just fixed. We've also done some home improvements. Um, everybody's had an upgrade this week. I'm going to let them show you around their new rooms. So first up, we have Louis. Louis would like to show you his new bedroom. Ready, Lou? Uh, <gasps> so we have the new bed. The bed's moved. Yay, that's where your desk was. Yay. I'm not ready to show someone my desk. Oh, I, so... I showed my desk twice. The, who have you showed? Your friends? Yeah. So, so we got rid of the old do. desk. And you got a new desk. We still need to sort out some cupboards and stuff. But yeah, this was a hard job yesterday. I to remove that. And yeah, you don't like your blue cabinets, you babes. this always gets in my way. I nearly always step on it. So no, I'm not... I want that to be in there. Yeah, so that that's that's Louis's two screens. It's got the Xbox 360 now and the Xbox One as well. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's his room. It's looking, it's looking good. Oh, and he has a den. A den. What's in your den, Lou? Stuff. Den. Go on, show us in your den. <laughs> den, 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 den. Jews. What, what was all my old teddies I always used to like? But yeah. Now. I won't let him get rid of his teddy bears, so now they live under the bed. So, yeah, and uh, we have a nice That's view. That's why I actually like teddy bears. Teddy bears are always cool, though. Yeah, so... When can we have gold on our side again? Like, when I, what I mean by that is... When are we going to have the sun? The sun? Um, I don't know. It was out earlier. It might come back tomorrow. So, that's Louis' upgrade. You don't do one without the other. So, Cole also had a bit of an upgrade this week. Here we go. So, what's going on in here, then, Cole? Got a new monitor. <gasps> New monitor. So yeah, and Louis had your older than me. So so it's screens. Cool. So the TV on the wall. And oh the the old living room TV is now on Cole's wall. So what do you do on that then, Cole? Play the switch. Yeah, what have you been playing all morning? Zelda. Zelda, yeah. So is um that's his upgrade. So his our our Mother's Day flag is flying. There is the upgrade to Cole's room is so big I can't even get it all in one shot. But it's not all about the kids. Me and Dad gonna upgrade too. Check out the new telly. Woo! Surround sound. No wires. Living the dream. You living the dream, Dad? Living the dream, Cole? Definitely Are you living, living the dream, Mace? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you're all dying to find out what's been going on with the tadpoles means I didn't put a vlog up last week. And yeah, it's freezing and windy and minging outside. I was about to go out shopping for Mother's Day to get myself some new flowers, as in planting flowers. And the weather's gone ming, so I'm not. I'm going to be shortly getting back into my pyjamas. I upgraded the tadpoles, wasn't happy with them being in the bucket anymore and I also went back up to the common to see if I could rescue the brothers and sisters because I knew I'd left them behind. So I've got them all now, they're all here and I put together the world's smallest wildlife pond. I even bought some plants and here's the tadpoles ready for the update. I'm, this is going to be quick because it's cold out. Did 
Dun. Dun, dun. Now, I don't know if you can see. There are still some frog spawn yet to come out. But concerningly, there are some tadpoles which have come out and they're just a bit dead. So, I mean, that's the duck I bought. Um, so we'll keep an eye on them. Yeah, nothing going on just yet. Must have for watch week two. This day, I shall be enjoying a nice Chinese, followed by a nice box from MV S'mores, which I treated myself to. If my friends watch this, they will probably be jealous. Yeah, we're going to enjoy them, aren't we? You're going to taste one of those marshmallows for testing, Lou? Strange, like, one, one. I'll have one after. This is a little um, cooker to cook them on. So that is this Double evening's fun. joys. Right, put that back in the fridge for now. Num num. I'm going to end the vlog here. Hope you've all had a great week. Hope you've all had a great day. Looking forward to catching up with you next week. I really don't know what I'm going to be doing. I have no clue. Um, I am now going to treat myself for the rest of Mother's Day, have a nice bath, get tucked in, movie, treats, life's good. See you later, bye.